Hello fellow fragrance lovers, we have another unboxing today, or rather an unenveloping. This one is from Essential, and Essential is a website I normally like to buy my skincare from. But they had 20% off, and I decided to buy some fragrance from them. And here it's come, nicely wrapped in bubble wrap. Loads of bubble wrap. Before I open this, I'm just going to check if there are any goodies. Receipts. Ooh. <laughs> okay. A little bit disappointing that they didn't send me a perfume sample, but never mind. Let's make sure. They have sent me one, two, three, four, five, six samples of the Vichy Mineral 89. Um, okay, I guess I'm going to try this. And a nail file. I'm off to find the scissors. Ta-da! A Lancome Trezo Midnight Rose. Hello, welcome to Mama. Lovely box. Hmm. So I bought this. This is a blind buy for me, by the way. I haven't actually tried this or sampled it, so it's a little bit crazy. <laughs> a little bit crazy. Here we are, we've moved on to somewhere with better light, but um, first impressions, <laughs> butterfingers, uh, first impressions is that the box is a lot smaller than I thought, but let's open up the box. Oh my goodness. The cell phone is very strong, but there we go. Very luxurious feel. Goodness, this has to be the most difficult box to get into. Okay. This is a lot smaller than I pictured. <laughs> um, I somehow thought that the bottle was longer, but never mind. But it's a really beautiful bottle. It's got a choker here in purple, one of my favorite colors. But definitely looks and feels very fancy. This is my first blind buy fragrance. I'm a little bit nervous, but also a little bit excited. Is this what gambling addiction feels like? Uh, honestly. Um, so yeah, this is quite small, actually. I have small hands and this fits in my hand like that. So let's see. What have we got? Oh. I'm getting some rose. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm just going to spray it on. Oh, to some paper. Oh, wow. Okay. Get a little bit of raspberry. I feel like the rose is a little bit stronger than the raspberry. Or maybe it's because I'm more familiar with roses because I like gardening and I have quite a few um, hybrid tea rose bushes in my garden that I absolutely love. So I'm definitely getting some rose. Just give me a bit of time. Mm, I feel like the rose is um, just a little bit uh, overpowering on this. So the notes in uh, La Trezon, Midnight Rose, we've got raspberry, we've got rose, we've got cassis, uh, pink pepper, peony, jasmine, although I'm struggling to pick up the jasmine, frankly speaking, 
the base note is supposed to be vanilla musk and virginia cedar maybe those come through after the dry down i don't know <laughs> but it's a pretty bottle it's very pretty i don't have anything like this so far in my teeny tiny little collection as a beginner uh we'll try this but my initial instinct isn't that it's love at first sniff for me i haven't been wowed or gagged but that's what i get for doing a blind buy i should, really should have tried it or got a sample <laughs> at least or something like that but that's okay i will be coming back to report uh how i get on with this on my actual on my actual skin actually i am beginning to get the jasmine now there is some potential yet, so that is my first impression of a blind by Trezo Midnight Rose. Uh, first and last blind buy. I'm not going to be doing any more blind buys. I kind of think it's a little bit irresponsible for me. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. I've just discovered fragrances and I'm crazy about fragrances. Bye.